Welcome back to another Maya Quick Tip. This time I'll be talking about how to easily create a bulge deformer using mesh. Not to be confused with the bifrost stuff. This bulge deformer is quite easy to set up compared to the bifrost bulge compound. It doesn't require a lot of nodes. It's quite interactive too. It has a nice fall off gizmo that you can move around and scale up and scale down. So let's get started. First off, start a new scene. Navigate to the sculpting tab and find the content browser and click on it. And it'll bring up a window with a bunch of sculpting mesh. Here I just selected the basic human mesh and drag it into the viewport. Select the mesh Then switch to the effects context You notice that once you click it, the manual tabs are changed Go to mesh, utilities, and mesh blend deformer Once that's done Go to the Attribute Editor tab and scroll all the way to the Blend Deformer. Then, once you're in the tab, scroll down near to the bottom where you see the Fall Up object. Once you're there, right click on the empty space and create a new Fall Up object. Go to your Outliner and select the Fall Up object. Move the gizmo so that it touches part of the mesh. Then you can go over the the inflate setting and increase it. Once you drag the slider, you'll notice the change. You can choose to give him a big head or a big thick neck, whatever you want. Hell, you can even go Ben Swallow with this. Give him a super buff chest. There's also a smooth setting which smooths the whole mesh. Unfortunately, it smooths the whole mesh instead of isolated area. It could still be useful in some cases. If you put a negative value into inflate settings, you could also shrink the model. Another neat feature is that you can change the shape of the falloff. There are several different shapes. There's a sphere as a standard, cube, NURBS curve, particles, and a custom mesh input. So there you have it. That's how you create a bulge deformer with mesh. If you haven't already, please drop a like and subscribe, as it will help me greatly in producing quality content and keeping this channel free.